Okay, so I had someone ask me how to set up. So I'm going to guess that you mean how to start with ARC. A, you're in the ARC group, so I'm guessing you already have an ARC, at least one ARC. Now, I am missing some sizes, guys, just because I am. Okay, so your first ARC, when you buy it from Staples, will have itty bitty little baby desks. These are great for little kids. Throw some flashcards on a few of them. For real world, these don't last. Take them off. If you don't know how to take them off, Enthusiastically Dawn has a video showing you exactly how to do it. Go find her on YouTube. She's there. Then I started with a one and a half. Okay. I grew out of that very quickly. Now I have a two. Now, here's the difference. Okay. I hear you. There's not that big of a difference. There is. Trust me, there is. The largest ones that I have been able to find, and I think I'm not the only one, are the three inch. So you have three, two, one and a half, micro mini. <laughs> there are ones and um, there are other sizes that are fit in between here. Um, but in the real world, guys, these are your best friends. Buy a pack of three inch later. You will use these to archive if you choose to archive. As far as for an everyday planner, they, it, it's, it is harder to move your pages around. If you are super mom, super dad, coaching teams, have a lot of kids, um, on the PTO, have a hectic life, workaholic, momaholic, all in one, go with the two. Don't, don't waste the time getting the one and a halves. Go with the two. Now, where to buy the two? Leven, um, Levenger. Do not buy from Rollabine. Yes, I know that is horrible that I am saying this and this is going on YouTube. Do not buy from Rollabind. So many people are sending Rollabind money and never getting their products. If you want Rollabind, call them. That's on you. Levenger has twos and threes. They are more expensive, but they hold more, they are more plastic, so they take more to make. Or if you have a 3D printer, let me know. We will figure out how to make these. Um, the one and a halfs are great starter discs. The only problem with a starter disc is that you eventually have to change your discs, like I did last night. It's not that big of a headache. It's just irritating because I knew I needed the bigger discs when I started and I just should have stopped what I was doing and waited until my bigger discs came in. These are my bigger discs. I love them. These are the two inch. And if you see, I have plenty of room to grow. See, I have all that room right there where my finger is. I have plenty of room to grow. I'm not squeezing my book. In any way um, it lays nice and flat it does not bulge there we go um, it does not bulge it fits in my purse um, it's awesome the next thing that you want okay so we we talked about the binder the actual cover that you want if you're lucky you may have one of the stores that's offering the build your own you want a larger disc size. Like I said, it is up to you. I'm just going to say that 
a lot of us are finding we want the two inch. Um, one and a half may be fine for you. And the only way you'll find out is to, is to try them and see what happens. You are going to want to go into, let's see, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, Staples, Office Depot, Office Max. If you've got an art, go back to Staples. Because um, otherwise, well, you need dividers. But that said, I do have different types of dividers. I know that the, one, the arc ones are great because they are made for arc. They don't have any other holes in them. But I went to Target and I found Yobi. There are eight subjects. So for those of us who want more subjects, you might want to go with those. They were $2.99. I think they're on sale right now again for $2.99. With school getting ready to start. So you've got your cover, your discs your dividers. The next thing you want is you want washi tape, post-it notes, and at least $10 on a credit card to go on to Etsy and find a planner to print at home. Make sure you have a printer. Make sure you have ink. Go in, find one you like, um, print it out. I will tell you I have my planner pages are available. Um, they are more expensive. They are a full-size DIY fish. She charges six dollars for hers. Um, I charge 15 for mine but they are printed and mailed to you. Um, because I do that because the download the way to print them is a lot of flipping paper around, um, which is why I offer mine printed only. I do not do downloads if you want it. They are pre-printed, which means they're coming on a on a 32 um, pound paper, so they're nice thick pages. Um, they're awesome. Um, so anyhow, that's it. I mean, honestly, you want a planner band. We do have somebody on our Facebook group who makes them, and they are amazing, and they hold like crazy. I mean, this seems like it's super stretchy, but watch. Even when my planner was like trying to explode off of the one and a half inch rings, it held everything together. And isn't that cute? And it does work on the polys also. Can't really see it because my poly's pink, and the pinks don't match perfectly um, now it's too big so when you order yours you need to let Carla know whether you're a thin book this has like nothing in it um, or if you are a thick book because if you have just like month-to-month -month pages Carla just in case you're watching, if they're running month-to-month -month pages, whatever you made for mine, if you take the section that you sewed and flip it over like that, now it fits. Um, I don't think any of us honestly have books this skinny. Like I said, right now, this is just... Um, paper. My daughter was, she just pulled all of her stuff out of it um, to get back to me um, because she got a different one. But anyhow, that's pretty much it. Get your book. Get Oh, your punch. Your punch. Your punch. Your punch. Yeah, where did I put my punch? My dog was laying on it, so I moved it so that she wouldn't pop it open. And I put it under my back. Okay. This is the arc the ah, arc punch. Levenger sells punches. Levenger sells a $20, what I call portable punch. I do have that also. Um, I don't suggest it. It only punches one or two pages. And if you're just getting started, you are going to become 
one paper punch and fold. Here's the one, two, three. That's a one, two, three because you can pop these open um, and punch one, two, or three. Anyhow, it's only $20 for this. If you're just starting, you can't afford the bigger punch, okay, fine. But honestly, save yourself the heartache and headache. $43 at Staples. If you get it when you're at Staples buying your book, you're not paying extra for any shipping or anything like that. Don't go on all the other companies. This is like a dream come true. Office Depot supposedly has come out, well I know they have, they came out with the Revolution. And supposedly the punch is not bad. Now, I did talk to one lady who got the Fourier 4 whatever punch. She has an art punch. She bought it to do a video with the difference. She hasn't had a chance to do the video yet, but she said that the art punch even when it's pump punching through um, cardstock and lam lamination, it doesn't leave like frayed edges. And her um, Fourier left frayed, frayed edges. I think she was going to take it back and see if she could exchange it and show the guy what it was doing because it shouldn't be doing that. I mean, a good quality punch is not going to leave, you know, funky edges. So I think she she's thinking that it might be. Um, a manufacturer defect or a, a defect in it. So I think that may be why she, I haven't seen the, the video come up yet. But guys, that's, that's it. You need a punch, you need your book, you need your discs. Please, 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 please go ahead and start with bigger discs. Even if it's just a one and a half, please start with a bigger disc. You will be so much happier. The pages may be harder to turn at first, but once you fill it up, they won't be hard. Um, washi tape, washi tape your edges of your pages if you plan on taking them in and out. Um, I take my pages in and out all the time. I have for months. Not a problem at all. Washi tape is the coolest thing. I will forewarn you. You will become addicted and you will have drawers full, cabinets full, um, wall hangings full. Washi tape's fun. You can decorate your pages. They end up being really cute. You you will end up going from, oh, I'm only going to use it to do the edges of my page, to all of a sudden you have these really cute pages. So, I think I answered your question. If not, give me a little bit better of an idea of what you mean by startup or setting up. I think you were asking, you know, how do you start using one? Um, again, watch my little thing on um, sections. Starting with your own planner, it's really a personal opinion. You are either going to have a calendar and a bunch of other stuff in your planner, or you're going to have a calendar with some phone numbers, which is what you can buy at the store. Um, and if that's where you want to start, that's great. Mine is like a household, everything. I have everything in my life is in that book. If you, somebody was to steal my book, I would probably die. It has everything. Everything. I have every appointment that I need to make in there. I don't remember dates very well. I have to actually go and look. Um, you know, somebody asked me when the first skate night was, and I went, um, hold on. I knew it was in September. I knew it was towards the end of September, but I couldn't remember what day it was. So I had to look. So it, your planner is setting up your net or your ARC books. It's very personal. How to do it, you just pop it in. Um, again, watch Enthu Enthusiastically Dawn. She has a video on how to change your discs. Um, there are other videos out there on, you know, similar things. Take a look at YouTube. YouTube is your best friend when it comes to what to put in a planner. Go look at everybody else's, you know, find, find the person who's closest to you. So have a very good Saturday, everybody. I am going outside in the heat to go play with the dogs. Have a good one.